Hi Taurus, this is Jeffrey, this is Ripe Color, and this is the reading for the month of November. November. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings in person or on Zoom or telephone. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to transform and uh, manifest, actually. And the information is below. I have lovely horoscope t-shirts available on my website, all signs. This I'm wearing, you know, Scorpio for November. You're gonna have to uh, wait for me to model Taurus, unless you'd like to model Taurus, which I can get it on my site in May, which is well, a long time from now. Um, I also have, uh, handmade textiles, ripecolor.com. All the information is below. Is it about to rain? Is it raining? I'm not really sure. It's gloomy. Uh, so I'm doing these on the, uh, what today? The 30th of October? Yeah. And it's quite gloomy. It's tomorrow. It's very exciting. All right. I think, or I feel, which is actually more important than what I think, <laughs> especially when I'm reading cards. Um, you know, somebody, uh, there's someone around or uh, uh, near, and it's like, um, you know, they want you to support them. Uh, but they don't offer anything. I don't think they're really offering anything. They want you to be all gung ho about their thing, but then they, they're not there to support you. Kind of thing. I'll tell you a funny story. I was a waiter for a long time. And I had to get out, and I was a great waiter. I have to, in all humility, I was a fantastic waiter. I could handle so many tables all by myself. Everybody was happy. All my customers are happy. I, you know, I got along with the kitchen, but I was really fast. Really efficient and pleasant. And I'm, you know, I'm very good at juggling a million things. Anyway, um, so I wanted to get rid of, I wanted to leave one job and go to another. And I went to this place and um, they thought they were all that. And on the interview thing, uh, the you know piece of paper you had to fill out. It wasn't it, long gone were the days where you just met the restaurant owner, and they said, "Where have you worked?" And you told them that, and they go, oh, "I like you," and they hired you. Or they they're like, "You know what? I have enough people right now. Come back in a month. We'll see. Whatever." Anyway, it became very corporate. All that. And it's like, why do you want to work at our establishment? And I wrote to pay the f and rent. That's why I want to work at your staff because it's so wonderful. I'm from New York, you know, it ain't wonderful. It's a effing job. Okay. So like, that's the energy I'm getting this like, oh, well, is, aren't we great? Aren't we great? And it's like, what are you offering? That's what I'm getting. Okay. So it's a little warning. I know I got old. Use your head, right? It's like, okay, get very uh, cerebral about this. It's like, what am I getting out of this? I support you with this. What am I getting? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I have bigger plans. I have bigger plans than backing you up. I need for you to back me up, not for me to back you up. I have bigger plans, baby. All right. I feel like a gun mole. Yep. 
Yeah, because you see the whole picture. You see the whole, you have bigger plans. You have bigger plans. So if you come across a situation like I just, just described, make believe you me. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready to move on to much bigger, a much bigger thing where it's 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 them supporting you, not you supporting them. Really clear. Really clear. Because this is where you, this you want to be seen, right? You want to be the one on the horse. You don't want to be. So the interesting thing about this card, I try to put them on without going, it's not so easy. Um, uh, the thing about this card is like the reason he's on the horse and seeing, you know, this public rec recognition here, it's victory, it's a card of victory, is because these people are all supporting him, the ones you can't see. Now, if this is your reading, you want to be this person, you don't want to be somebody behind the horse, you want to be these people, who are they? I'd rather be the horse than these people, right? Yeah. Should I stay or should I go? Should, you know, if it feels like I'm being surrounded by this, like, oh, you gotta do this for us, go, right? Because that, you know, enough with the heartache. I see something else for myself. So sometimes, you know, sometimes the good is the enemy of the best. your Taurus. So one of the things about you that uh, I could actually use more of is patience. Patience. It's like, I'm the bull and I'm not going to move until it's time to move. Perfect. Right? I have a bigger there's a bigger opportunity for me. There's a, a more uh, lucrative opportunity. There's a more uh, uh, beneficial opportunity. And I'm just gonna sit and wait until it comes. I'm just gonna sit and wait until it comes. But to just take something because it's there, you know, let's say you go to, uh, okay, here's another example. I went to the deli last night. You know, the delis are open here on 24 seven. Cause I wanted some cookies, right? They don't really have the cookies I want. So I bought some of these, uh, what do you call it? You know, like processed food cookie things. Cause uh, whatever. And I ate them and they were like disgusting. So it's like, you are better off with nothing than settling. Like that's what I'm really getting. It's like, don't settle. I'm really getting that. Yeah, because you know what? The seeds that you've planted, the work that you've already done is going to grow into something more lucrative. So sometimes patience, you need to let uh, let's say you applied for say three schools, right? Let me just, I'm trying to give an example here. Let's say you applied to two really great schools, great, and they're really uh, well known, and you know, like a piece of paper from there, it's going to mean a lot more than than the one from the the, the yucky, the crappy school. And the crappy school says, "Oh yeah, we want you." Da, 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 da. And you haven't heard from the other two. Wait, just wait, right? Because you're going to hear from one of the others. And if you say yes to this, this crap, if you go after something that's half, uh, it's kind of like you get what you pay for in a way. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit like that. It's a little bit like, well, if, if I sell myself short and I do everything for you and I don't, I'm not really part of the bargain, then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. It's kind of like 
if you first date with somebody, they show up late, unkempt, they, they invited you and they don't pay the bill. And then you get involved in a relationship with them. And then it does it go south. It's like, I could have told you that on the first date. I could have told you that on the first day. So see what I'm saying? So if you're getting that, get out, be patient. One more. You can manifest whatever you want. You can manifest whatever you want. You have all the tools. So this nonsense, stop wasting your time. That's my read. I, I know I can get very, well, you know, what? There are different types of readers for different types of people. You know, you dig me or you don't dig me, it's okay. I dig me. So you dig me, that's great. You don't dig me, that's great too. Uh, blessings to you. <laughs>